Hello, my name is Tristan Began, and I am going to be giving you a demo of my entry for the Code Echo competition, which is simply called Echo. This is a 2.5D puzzle game that I made using Autodesk Maya and Unity 3D. Um, the, basically, the idea is that Echo the robot has been trapped in this alien facility, um, and the only way for him to get out is to get to these portals. However, his, his movement has been disabled by this little ball cage he's in, and um, the only way for him to move is by using his powers to deconstruct and reconstruct objects. So, for example, I can deconstruct this cage to let him out, and then I can deconstruct this hanger to allow him to drop this and let him move toward the portal. Uh, this next level takes advantage of his second power in the game, which is to create an echo of himself simply by pressing space. And this level also shows you that you can restart the level by pressing R. So if I press space again, that will bring me high enough to get to this portal. And then I can deconstruct this block to get to this portal. So you have to disable all the portals in the level in order to progress, not just one. Um, this third level is again going to take advantage of his echo ability. And you have to time it just right so that you drop this block, you lift it up, and he can get to that portal. And then you drop, you can drop this one, and he goes to that. One. This next one is another timing one. You have to do it right when he's up there. And if you don't, you have to restart the level because he has to be high enough in order for you to do this. Now if you just do that, that again is not going to be enough because it only makes a parallel when you want him to move this way so that he, you can drop him when he's over the portal. So if you try again, what you can do... Oh wait. Gotta wait. What you can do is deconstruct this as well, and then it'll move him far enough to get to the portal. Now this next one, the instinctive thing to do would be to destroy this so that he falls this way. However, now that his weight is no longer there, this drops in his path. So in order to get past this, you have to create an echo of yourself above here, which will give you just enough time, weigh it down just long enough for you to get through and go to the portal. Now this one looks relatively simple, but... All you have to do is create an echo of yourself up here, and then it makes it much easier when you just do this. Because now, all you have to do, it's pretty obvious what you have to do from there. You drop the, that one so the portal goes to him. And then you drop this one so that he goes to this portal. Now this next one uses the physical principle of inertia, which is basically that an object will keep on moving unless another force acts on it. So if I were to destroy this and just let it drop, it'll go up and then it'll go back down and Echo can't get up there. And eventually he just falls off. However, we know from inertia that since this is the block that is heavy enough to bring it down, it's also the block that brings it back the other way. But if we were to, say, destroy that block when it's already got the force, then it just keeps going. Now, uh, this next one is almost like two puzzles in one because there are some portals over here to get and there's a portal down here to get. So first you'd have to figure out that in order to get to this, you need this to go in the path to it. However, if I were to just destroy this hanger, it, that doesn't really help us very much. So, what you have to do is time it correctly so that you can, so that you can destroy it there and then reconstruct it when it's in between these two blocks, which gives you a perfect patch to the portal. However, before you let him go to the portal and destroy him, you first have to clone him so that you can get these two portals. 
Now, if I were to clone him and have him go through here, he wouldn't be able to get to this one because that's too high for him to clone himself. So you have to drop this one first, and then you can create two clones of yourself in sequence and get the two portals, and then finally get this one. This last one is similar to the Inertia one from before. If you simply let this drop, he'll go way too far because there's too much force and he'll completely miss the portal. So what you have to do is drop this, deconstruct it, and deconstruct it over here so that it, it serves as a stopper for this to slow it down before it keeps going. So if you let it drop, let it slow down, and then you deconstruct this to let it go again. It'll just give it a tap, and there you go, you get the portal. All right, uh, that's all I have to show you. Um, I hope you choose my game for to be a finalist. Um, thank you for listening and watching. Um, goodbye. <laughs>